my YouTube family. What's going on? It's Cowboy. I think I'm going to pull something out of smoking real quick. Do your little cowboyism on one of these smokes I got. I got something to say. Y'all listening to me? I'll be right back. Let's blow some smoke. YouTube family, what's good? It's your man Cowboy. Coming to holler at y'all real quick, man. I thought I'd come outside here for a little bit. The sun is starting to go down, and maybe I could pull me a quick smoke off. I had uh, had this smoke in there I've been trying to get on. Uh, today, we're going to try this Romacraft, Cro-Magnet, Anthropology. This one here is, uh, I think what I had, it's five and three quarter by 46, the Grand Corona. That's a pretty nice size cigar for me. I really do enjoy cigars this size. I seem to get some of the best smokes out of cigars this size. I don't like to go much bigger than a 54 myself, but this is almost perfect. So we're gonna get into this thing, man, here real quick and see what we come up with. Again, uh, the Roma Craft, um, Cro-Magnon, Anthropology, Maduro. Looking at this cigar, man, this thing's got a pretty nice looking wrapper on it. You know, kind of rustic looking. But I kind of like that rustic look, you know, just a little toothy, just toothy enough. I like toothy cigars myself. Got a good smell on that. Nice hearty, beefy type smell. Woodsy. Definitely woodsy. Almost like a sweet savory smell to it. Almost like a barbecue sauce, man. Like a sweet baby rays or something. Nice beefy smell to it. Alright. We ain't gonna mess around, man. We gonna cut him up. We gonna smoke him up. I'll tell y'all what I think about it. Sitting outside here, it's a little noise. We still got some people popping off fireworks as if it's still the 4th of July around here. So, we're gonna put a V cut on that thing. See what we can get on the draw. Real nice draw. Can taste the richness in it already. Sweet aroma to it on the draw. That oaky wood. All right. We're gonna fire this thing up, man. I ain't messing around. I ain't got all night. Got me an ice cold Corona here. Sip with. Been one of them long hot days, man. Long hot day at work. But I had to get out sun go down man and uh try to blow me one we're gonna go with the match today let's see if this works outside here get him heated up a little bit yeah it's been one of them days man how's everybody day been going got a chance to listen to a couple of you guys today smoking preacher the call with uh, Ron Real, Mac Daddy, James from over at Black Lion. Good call y'all had there, man. I was able to listen to y'all on my way in from work. Got, got off a little late today, man. I'm going to get on one of them calls with y'all one these days. Wow. Oh yeah, nice, sweet, sweet, sweet taste on that light up. Oh yeah. Some pepper. 
on that retro hill. Roma Craft Cro Magnum. Real sweet in flavors, man. Really nice sweet. Sweet flavor to it. Right off the bat. Definitely got that oak. I know you hear a lot of cigar reviewers always talking about the wood and the oak and cigars, but it's definitely present. You can't deny it. Really good foot smoke on that thing too. Looks like it's gonna burn pretty good. This thing is dressed in a Connecticut broadleaf wrapper. Um, it also has as a binder one of my favorite leaves, which is the Cameroon. Now I am used to the Cameroon being the outside, being the wrapper of a cigar, not so much the binder. And I have had a couple of cigars with the Cameroon wrapper, or I should say the Cameroon leaf was used as the binder can't say that I remember how much I really enjoyed it, but I really enjoyed the Cameroon as a wrapper. I'll pay more attention to this one as a binder to see what we're getting out of it. Got three different Nicaraguan blends in this cigar. Uh, Estelle, Con Condega, and uh, another little small island, I think they call it Pueblo Nuevo, which is kind of like right outside of Honduras. And I think that little town is where they get the uh, the top Lajero priming from, which gives this cigar its full flavor. It's definitely already coming off to me as a, a full body cigar on the light up. You know you're blowing good smoke when you can blow smoke rings. You can't blow good smoke rings, man, with all cigars. You just can't do it. It's all about the cigar, man, the makeup of the cigar. That's why we know we got some good heavy, heavy smoke in this cigar. Nice heavy smoke, but very pleasant. Alright guys, listen man, we're going to let this thing heat up. I'm going to try not to take up too much of the time with such a very long video, but I'm going to get into this first third, and I'm going to smoke this Cro-Magnon down, Roma Craft Pro Cro-Magnon Anthropology Maduro, and I'll let y'all know what I got out of this first third here in a little while. Alright, I'm back. As you guys can see, got down through that first third. Ash is holding on pretty good. Very happy with the burn. Even burn so far all the way. The draw is magnificent. V cut, as you can see. My preference. You gotta love the smoke on this thing, man. It's so mouth coating, man. Uh, getting some dark chocolate on there, maybe maybe cocoa, dark cocoa, dark chocolate. Def definite cedar note. Earthy. It's full in body. Would have to say that this is a, a full body stick so far. But very, very flavorful. Not overpowering at all. Just full of flavors. Seems to be pretty complex to me as far as the flavors coming in and out on this cigar right now. Like I say, hell of a billowing smoke clouds on that thing, man. The smoky flavors that I'm getting out of here is, is like a, a meaty, smoky, like a mesquite type of a flavor that I'm getting off this thing on this first third. It's even starting to feel better out here right now. I got a little breeze going, so it's making my smoke a little bit more pleasant sitting out back here on the porch, man. Good cedar, good earth, man. Billowing smoke, like I say, mesquite flavors. 
on that retro here. The pepper is still there, it's died down a little bit, but right now on that retro here, I'm getting a I'm getting a spice, a, a, a nice little sweet spice on that retro hair. Oh yeah, definitely sweet spice on that retro hair. I don't know if you guys know it, but uh, we talk about tasting these cigars all the time when we taste them, and you hear guys say all the time that uh, they picking up the spice or they tasting the spice. Well. I don't know how many people really know spice itself is is not a taste. Spice spice is not a taste. Spice is, is uh it's it's one of those it's a sense. It's a sense that you get with spice. Cuz the central nervous system in your body, you know, it detects spices and hot like hot sauce. It's like a warning going off. You know, it's getting the body prepared for something hot, something spicy. You know, if you eat something real spicy, that's why you, you you get the sweating and it goes up through your nose. Because spice truly is not a taste. It's a sense. You know, we have five different, uh, they say, taste buds in our mouth. Spice is not one of them. Spice is a sense that you get. Same way with the pepper. Pepper is considered a spice if we know it, and even although pepper is considered to be a, a fruit, you know it's a spice as well, and it's a sense that we get. Now you can taste pepper, but you sense pepper more so than you do taste it. Just a little something, something. Maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. Don't quote me on it. You don't believe me? Look it up. Yeah, man, much needed after today. Wanted to come on here anyway, man, and give me another quick review out of the way. I'm going to do what I can to try to put up at least two posts a week. Not going to say that that's always possible, man. It's busy sometimes, man. And because I smoke outside of the house, it's too hot to come outside to smoke. With COVID-19 going on, you know, ain't going many places hanging out with too many people. So Cowboy going to do the best he can to give you as many reviews as I possibly can. I got a lot of cigars to smoke. A lot of cigars to smoke. But I'm going to get on down a little bit further on this thing. Get into that second, third. Get back at you guys and let you guys know what I'm getting so far. I'm going to try to relax and sip on this Corona for a second. I'll be back in a little bit. I done got a little too relaxed out here tonight, man. As you can see, this Crow Magnum is smoking well. Getting on down that second, third. I just lost that ass not long ago. The burn on this thing is doing all right. You can see it's trying to start get just a little wavy on me. I'm gonna see that it's gonna straighten itself out. Maybe I won't have to do any touch-ups on it at all. But uh, the smoke on this cigar is amazing. This was a damn good pick. The cigars put together kind of don't feel too tight at all. Actually, it feels a little, a little soft on the touch. The further I get down on the cigar towards the middle, it seems like it's getting a, it's, it's just a tad bit soft, but no problem at all. Uh, like I say, this this Grand Corona. It's the perfect size for me, actually. I really, really like the size of this cigar. I always have enjoyed cigars this size. You get so many of them, they give you such a tight draw, but the draw on this thing is not tight at all. There's absolutely nothing wrong with the draw on this thing. But on the second, third, on the retro hill, it's like the pepper is just about, it's gone. What I'm getting on the retro hill is is a is a sweet spice, like a um, like a, a chipotle type spice, where it's just got a hint of a little 
nah, I won't. I don't want to say hot. Like if you if you ever had some chipotle chicken, you get those little sweet spices coming up. It's not 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 hot, not overwhelming, not overpowering, but like just right, just right. Good good cedar note. Good cedar note. Leather. I got my leather. My leather finally picked up on that second third. I'm always looking for that leather in these cigars. Like I say, the retro hill, I'm getting like a Chipotle like spice on it. Um, the the sweetness that I'm getting is like a chocolatey nut. Maybe uh chocolate almonds, maybe. Some type of a chocolate nut. Not peanuts, but maybe almond, maybe chocolate cashew, maybe. Definitely got that nutty note. It's got a good aftertaste to it. It's not leaving a bad taste in my mouth at all. I'm getting a nice coating in my mouth. But this cigar, I would say, it would be perfect after a good meal, after a good hearty uh, slab of ribs off the grill. Because, And I say that because I'm getting that smoky barbecue type flavor to it. Real nice smoky barbecue flavor. Nice three country blend on this. That Estelle, uh, that Condega, and that Pueblo Nuevo uh, blend. It's got the Lajero in it, which the cigars kind of calm down a little bit as far as being full body. More on the high, medium side. But still just, still full. Not as full as it was in the beginning, but still full. Nice and hearty and savory, meaty type flavors to this cigar. Oh, this was perfect. This is a perfect choice for me for tonight. I'll drink to that. I'm hoping everybody enjoying the evening. It's Wednesday evening here. The night uh, has gotten better because it was hot around here in St. Louis today, man. The heat was on today. But I'm all right right now. I think it's going to be a good night. I think I'm going to have a good night's sleep tonight. This was much needed. This cigar would go good with a nice stout crafted beer as well. Because it's so savory. A good stout beer with a nice slab of ribs. Some sides. Perfect smoke after a good dinner like that. Nice boldness. Nice bold flavors to this cigar. Well balanced. You can see that that burn. It's not bad. It's swimming on me just a little bit, but nothing for me to be concerned about. I wouldn't be surprised if I had to touch it up once I get down to that last third that I might have to touch it up just a little bit. But like I say, perfect size cigar for me. I'm really digging this right now. Roma Craft. Uh, this is my first time getting my hands on the Cro Magnet. I've seen it. This one's been sitting in my humidor now for probably about a month. I picked this up about a month ago. A couple of them I picked up. I asked about it. The guy that told me it was a nice full flavor cigar, so I thought I'd try it. It looked good. I read about them, so why not pick it up? Get a chance to give me a good review on it. All right, y'all. I'm going to get down to that last third, and I'll get back with y'all let them know how this thing finished. I'll give you my take on it in a minute. Y'all relax. I'm back. As you can see, I'm working on this thing. I did have to touch him up one time. Tried to get away from him just a little bit, but one touch-up is all it needed. I can't say enough about it, man. Another good Nicaraguan blend. I love Nicaraguan cigars. This is... Uh, a superbly unique blend on this cigar, man. This cigar is uh, got great smoke, 
great taste. Nice clean finish to it. You know, nice clean finish. I don't feel like I'm gonna need to brush my teeth after smoking this particular cigar. Although I always do. But uh, very good clean finish on this cigar. Nice good oaky note, man. Uh, nice savory, like I say, a savory taste to it. Like a, a good, good old marinade. Good meaty taste. Um, even started to pick up a little bit of sweet and sour on it. Can't say enough about the smoke on this cigar. On that retro hair, in the beginning I had that pepper on that retro hair, but since then, on that retro hair, I've been getting constantly that nice chipotle spice, sweet spice, spice on the retro hair. Get notes of uh, even as I get towards the end, dark chocolate. A uh, good cocoa note throughout the cigar. From the beginning all the way down to the end. Good old dark cocoa, chocolatey type note to it. Uh, this is a very, very relaxing smoke. This is definitely one I need to keep. Two or three of them in my humidor. This is something I would want to go grab after a good meal. A good nice hour, hour and ten minute smoke. Sitting back, just chilling, relaxing. Uh, it's kind of finishing on the lighter on the full body side not real full but still full body but on the light side of full very good flavors it's got a, a, a good smoky richness to it from the the, 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 uh, the Lajero that's in here uh, that broadleaf wrapper is really giving it that good spicy chipotle sweetness and for the, the Cameroon binder um, I'm pleased I didn't think I'd be so happy with the Cameroon binder, but uh, still giving me the flavor that the Cameroon leaf gives. Real good cigar, man. I uh, have to say I, I enjoyed this tonight. I did. As I score this cigar, like I said, I just do a scale of one to ten, and. In my mind, I was giving this cigar a little while ago about an eight. But I think because of the unique blend and the richness and the boldness of this cigar, I'm gonna have to bump that up just a little bit tonight and give that a good eight and a half. I did have a good meal a little while ago when me and baby girl went out to eat. Uh, had a nice steak burger. So this this is uh, this is fulfilling. This is a very good end to my night. Y'all go out and get that cro -Magna. I'm going to have to say to the Roman Craft family, y'all did a beautiful job with this cigar, man. Uh, definitely one to keep in the box. Uh, as I've said in the past, I don't buy too many boxes of cigars, but uh, I can see where this one could be box worthy for someone. This is a great cigar. Y'all go get that Cro-Magnum and check it out. Cowboy going to finish this thing up. I'm going to finish relaxing. That's my take on it. Y'all be good.